Ever wondered what happens to the homes of the rich and famous when they fade from the limelight? Well, here we are, standing outside R. Kelly's abandoned mansion. The gates are a bit rusty, and the once immaculate facade is now weathered, but the intrigue is still very much alive. What secrets lie beyond these doors? Let's find out. Hey, explorers. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the mysterious and abandoned home of none other than R. Kelly. Yeah, you heard it right. We'll be diving deep into the forgotten corners of his once glorious mansion and uncovering the untold stories behind the cars he left behind. So buckle up, because this is going to be one heck of an adventure. In the quiet suburbs of Chicago, a once luxurious mansion stands as a silent witness to the rise and fall of an R&B icon. The abandoned home of R. Kelly, now veiled in an air of mystery and neglect, unveils a story of opulence, decadence, and the passage of time. Our journey into the heart of this forsaken estate is more than a mere exploration of bricks and mortar. It's a captivating glimpse into the remnants of a life that was, and a testament to the transient nature of fame. The mansion, the luxury mansion, where the disgraced singer R. Kelly allegedly held women captive and forced them to participate in orgies, has been unveiled. Kelly, born Robert Sylvester Kelly, faced conviction last September on nine criminal counts, including violations of the Mann Act and racketeering, resulting in a 30-year prison sentence on June 29th. The 11,455 square foot property was accused of being the place where Kelly kept his alleged victims as part of a sex cult. Pictures taken from inside the home reveal its opulence, featuring two kitchens, a home theater, a pool, a spa, and a tennis court. As we step through the grand entrance of the mansion, the atmosphere is heavy with the echoes of forgotten melodies that once reverberated through its walls. The sprawling estate, now draped in an eerie silence, was the backdrop of R. Kelly's triumphs and tribulations. The lush gardens, once meticulously manicured, now reclaim the grounds in wild abandonment, intertwining with the memories of a bygone era, the garage. Venturing further, we find ourselves in the cavernous garage that once cradled a collection of automotive masterpieces. Left behind and covered in a thick layer of dust, these cars tell a tale of a different time. Among them is the sapphire blue Bentley Continental, a vehicular masterpiece that once symbolized the pinnacle of success. Its 19-inch alloy wheels, now obscured by neglect, once glimmered in the sunlight as a testament to the singer's affluence. Adjacent to the Bentley, the Mercedes Maybach GLS 600 stands as a monument to automotive sophistication. The twin turbo V8 engine, designed to generate 550 horsepower and 730 newton meters of torque, remains dormant, a mechanical mausoleum of power and prestige. These once pristine vehicles, now mere remnants of a lavish lifestyle, embody the fading echoes of a thriving career. Phantom Drophead Coupe. But wait, What's this majestic creature in the corner? None other than the Phantom Drophead Coupe, a British saloon that oozes elegance and power. Its twin-turbo V12 engine, the heart of this mechanical marvel, once roared with 563 horsepower. And get this, it's priced at a whopping $340,000. Talk about automotive excellence. Abandoned rooms. As we move through the mansion, each room tells a story of a life now frozen in time. The home theater, once buzzing with entertainment, is now hauntingly silent. The pool, where laughter once echoed, lies tranquil and forgotten. Bedrooms, once filled with secrets, now bear witness to a past mired in controversy. Financial struggles. Behind the glitz and glamour, the mansion faced its own struggles foreclosure notices, eviction orders, signs of a financial roller coaster that couldn't sustain the lavish lifestyle. It's a stark reminder that even the grandest homes can crumble when faced with the harsh realities of life. R. Kelly's financial journey has been marked by a significant decline from the height of his career. Once reported to be worth up to $100 million, his net worth faced a drastic downturn due to ongoing lawsuits, settlements, and controversies. By 2011, J.P. Morgan Chase had fielded a 2.9 million foreclosure 
against Kelly's Chicago Mansion, indicating the beginning of his financial troubles. In 2012, he owed $4.8 million in back taxes to the IRS. Foreclosure proceedings on his Chicago mansion, once valued at over $5 million, resulted in a sale at a foreclosure auction for $950,000. By the time 2013 arrived, R. Kelly found himself evicted from two homes near Atlanta due to unpaid rent. His revenue stream took a hit as music platforms like Spotify, Pandora, and Apple removed his catalog, citing policies against hate content. As of the latest reports, R. Kelly's net worth is now in the negative, standing at $2 million. His fall from grace is evident in the sale of his former mansion, listed at just under $3.5 million. The 21,000-square-foot estate, owned by Elaine Isley, the widow of Rudolph Isley, features luxury amenities like a river rock fireplace, a two-story indoor pool space resembling a jungle oasis, an elevator, an eight-car garage, a glass-walled exercise room, and more. Philanthropy. Yet, in the midst of shadows, there's a flicker of light. Did you know that R. Kelly, despite his controversies, made substantial donations, around $2 million, to various charitable foundations? It's a reminder that sometimes, even amidst personal struggles, there's a desire to make a positive impact. While the shadows of his personal life may loom large, instances of philanthropy reveal a complex and multifaceted individual. The turning point came with the documentary, Surviving R. Kelly, which aired on Lifetime and was later available on Netflix. The documentary delved into allegations of sexual misconduct throughout. Kelly's career, featuring accusers and even musicians who had collaborated with him. The negative publicity accelerated the decline of Kelly's net worth, and his once flourishing career crumbled. So here we are, at the end of our adventure through the abandoned home of R. Kelly. A mansion that once echoed with music and laughter now stands silent. Cars that once symbolized success now sit covered in dust. It's a testament to the transient nature of fame and the complexities that life throws our way. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more explorations, and let us know in the comments which celebrity homes you'd like us to visit next. Until then, stay curious, stay adventurous, and we'll catch you on the next exploration.